<laughs> Much minis. Be right back. Hey guys. Hey guys, what's up and welcome back. I'm Ian the Junkernet and today we are going to be talking about minis. Um, I got my first 3D printer uh, just about a week ago. It was the Ender Mark III and I have been going nuts with it. Um, I've already used up a whole uh, roll and a bit of filament and uh, even though I've been really impressed with the amount of detail that my printer is putting into these uh, very small prints, they still don't feel quite finished just because they have no paint. So today we're going to be trying to learn how to uh, paint and finish these 3D printed minis. I hope you enjoy it and I hope that you're able to glean something from it even if we end up messing it up and you just learn what not to do. I wanted to start off by showing what it takes to even get a model ready for painting. Uh, but if you don't give a rat's patootie about that, feel free to skip over to about two minutes and should get you on track. As you can see, there was a fair amount of supports on this specific print. And uh, although unequivocally, 3D printers are awesome, if you do not like tinkering and working with your hands, uh, I would say just don't get one because you're going to end up doing that a lot. Uh, as you can see, even though I was being very careful, I ended up breaking her, her ankles off, so now she can never run away from me. I need healing! And uh, that's a little bit dark, maybe I should take that out. <laughs> I just used some regular CA super glue uh, to reattach Tracer's ankles, but I did insert a uh, metal rod into each one of her legs, you know, just like real surgery to help support it. Dang, look at that girl! You gotta go to work. Work, <laughs> work, 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 work. Well, that was a pain. My bad, did you guys think that we were ready for paint? Uh, no, not quite. And honestly, depending on how particular you are, you could spend uh, a long time on this stage. Oh my gosh, it fits perfect! Dislike, no! Alright, so we got all the uh, minis lined up and laying over on top of a cardboard box, because <laughs> at least Amazon Prime is good for something, right? Uh, we're just going to go ahead and hit it all with some gray uh, primers. This is just some cheap stuff. Some days this is the most exercise I get. Okay, that's good enough. They've got a lot more depth than they seem to have before. Kind of smooths out those rough edges as well. He's one inch tall. That is so tiny. Look at all those little details pop in the shadows. Look at her right there. 1.25 inches. I'm going to go ahead and take some of the smaller ones inside to start on the uh, kind of detail hand painting. But with some of the bigger pieces like this uh, Statue of Liberty and Tracer, for example, um, they're going to have some other um, kind of prime uh, color coats put on with spray paint before we go into the hand painting. So. Probably asking yourself, why is the dog neon green? And to which I answer. Clear the area. <laughs> Floss a day keeps the dentist away. That's what my mom always told me. Krylon gloss yellow. For Lady Eiffel Liber Tower, uh, we're going to be using some of this uh, gloss emerald green from Krylon and then following it up with a light coat of this uh, Bahama Sea blue. Ugh. Frog, 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 frog. frog. Bye, frog. Camera's only got seven minutes left of uh, space left on it. I hope I can finish this segment in time. Whew, made it. That was a close one. What I'm doing now is uh, called taking a drink, uh, but what I'm doing now is uh, making a wash. So basically you just uh, put it on all over your model and then you lightly dry it off so that the paint that remains is mostly in uh, crevices where you would have shadows and uh, normal dirt buildup. Works better to use multiple passes, but one was good enough for me. Now we're finally on to doing the miniatures and uh, just start off by painting all the bases here. Uh, this is a good opportunity to layer several different colors. So you can see I'm starting with kind of just a straight brown. Uh, then in a minute we start working in some darker greens and then finally in the end we start working in um, some very light greens. I don't think that I have 
too much uh, super amazing suggestions for this, um, except just to use the smallest brushes that you can find. As far as what colors to use and how to break up the different parts of the model, uh, I feel I paint very instinctively. I try not to think too hard about uh, what a character should be. I just kind of let it flow and uh, keep going until I'm happy with it. Did you have fun, little man? Yeah. You didn't have fun? Yeah. Oh no. When you're doing minis that are uh, this small, uh, rather than trying to paint specific features um, on their faces, it's a lot easier and better in my opinion just to do the vaguest uh, reference to a face. Um, so a little bit of a darkening or a little bit of blue or color in the eyes, a little tiny uh, dab of red for a lips and uh, pretty much calling it quits. Uh, if you try and do too much, they usually just look garish and kind of frightening, honestly. Uh, so you'll kind of be able to see that in the close up here. So I had a ton of fun on this guy uh, doing a lot of uh, color layering, starting with some reds, going into some uh, darker blues, and then uh, following it up with some white and silver, kind of give this kind of mystical feel. Now that I've got all those small miniatures painted up and they, uh, you know, turned out pretty good, I feel like I learned a lot doing them as well. I can move on to the big girl. I just finished printing this using 3D printed parts to help us finish 3D printed minis. Once 3D printers start printing more 3D printers, we'll know that the human race is officially doomed. <laughs> It is very late. It's actually 3.15 in the morning, but I just have to finish Tracer because she's coming together so good. But I've purposely left off the most critically important area for last.
Let's do this. Uh, bombs away! Thank you guys so much for checking out this video. If you haven't already, please hit that like and subscribe button. I really appreciate it. Uh, before we go, I do have a huge shout out for my mother-in-law, Elena, who has once again supported the channel by going halfsies with me on this 3D printer that we've been using to make all these models and all these cool videos. Um, it's already brought me a ton of entertainment and joy, and I hope that I can continue to pass those same feelings onto you guys with it uh, for years to come. Speaking of which, I have been printing a lot of stuff besides just the miniatures, including a ton of really cool Nerf balls. This whole box is full of them. Uh, some of those, if not all of them, will be uh, probably in either the next video or the one after that. If you have any suggestions for uh, cool DIY or pop culture builds that you'd like to see me do, uh, please leave me a comment and I will add them onto the idea boards and I will do my best to oblige. As always guys, video, music, social media, Thingiverse, and meme links down below. It's just an assortment. Check them out if you're interested. Stay classy, and I will see you in the next one. Hello, I'm Babe. The YouTuber seems to think you'd like this next video. I don't even consider subscribing? Ah, but a chance you should. You barely adapted to watching this next video. I was born watching it. Goodbye now.